Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here time once again for some more StarCraft II commentary. Today we will be watching a game between Showtime and MYM Xlord. Unfortunately, no player stats for you guys today. I tried looking up on SC2 ranks and the site was down. Internal error, 5,000 something along those lines. So, no player stats. Uh, Xlord, I've commentated quite a few games with, strong Zerg player, and Showtime, I don't think I have many commentaries with him, but I do believe at the very least he is High Masters. I'm not certain if he's Grand Masters, but I'm pretty sure that he is Masters at the very least. And of course X-Lord is most definitely Masters, if not Grand Masters as well. Uh, yeah, sorry, SC2 ranks was down, that's where I normally go to get these things, and I couldn't find it. Oh, how sad. Well, let's take a quick look around the map while we're at it here. Uh, Showtime, first of all, we'll be going Forge Fast Expand. We're going to take a look around his main right there. Relatively small main, leading in that natural expansion. We've got rocks having a path that leads into an expansion over here, and there's an entrance leading into that as well, something you, of course, want to keep an eye on for, or break down to for easier access when you move into your third. But there you go, that's the main of the natural. Besides that, we've got one central Zelnaga Tower. There's some uh, expansions over here. These ones are guarded by rocks on either side. And then besides that, everything else is pretty much mirrored. Also a path leading back along there as well. Probe for Showtime now making it up into X-Lord's base. There is that forge getting dropped down. Has decided to go forge first. This is a very large ramp for you to have to block off. Uh, so it makes sense to me that he would go forge first without even checking to see what X-Lord was doing. Sometimes you will see like a nexus first or something. In fact, you can see he moved out with his probe and he got this far as he was unsure where exactly X-Lord was. He just wanted to see, hey, are there early lings coming or what, what exactly is going on? Um, so there you go. And oh, look at that. Cancels off the pylon. He was going for that pylon harass to delay the expansion. And now the drone here for X-Lord is going to head out to do some scouting. He will now wait until he's got Zerglings and then drop that expo down over here. Showtime canceling off that pylon as he didn't need it at that moment. Now there is a space right here. I think that this is the space he's reserving for his zealot because there is enough room there for a unit. There's the photon cannon and we should probably be seeing a gateway likely right here. Might even, he's, yeah, I mean he's going to need another pylon up front to get that full wall off. As you can see right over here is unpowered. Uh, so he's going to need to place another pylon somewhere. Looks like that'll be Hug in the corner. He's going to get a little overlap there. And then he'll be able to do probably like a gateway cyber core, something along those lines. Not sure of the exact placement, of course. I'm just throwing guesses out there. Drone makes it up into the main, takes one shot from the photon cannon, but does make it all the way on through. And Showtime says, uh uh uh, you're not stealing my gas. Screw that. <laughs> Drops down the two assimilators immediately upon realizing that the drone made it into his main. And look at how sneaky. Oh, that's spotted, though. That is unfortunate. Exlord should have put that a little further back. He could have gotten away with it being hidden a little while longer. I mean, obviously, regardless, Showtime would have, upon seeing that that drone disappeared, would have gone up there to deal with it. Uh, but this is pretty, pretty interesting here. I'm intrigued to see what Exlord is planning to do with this. He does have one extractor that is now up. There's going to be a Roach Warren coming on through for Exlord. Now, if he can get this up... There's going to be a cannon dropped right now to try to deal with this, but if he can get this up, what's going to happen is he can get some roaches in the main. Another big thing to consider, Showtime doesn't want photon cannons in his main, but he has to do this right now because that's his only response to this hatchery coming on through. So if nothing else, x can force the creation of this cannon and cancel off the hatchery, and that's exactly why Showtime is just coming out with one cannon. He doesn't want to overcommit, let two cannons come in, only to have x cancel that hatchery. Have that expansion coming on through. There's that cyber core as well. Let's see what he's going to do. There it is. Cancels the hatcher hatchery. Now, he ends up losing resources, obviously, because you don't get a 100% refund when canceling a building. But he forced Showtime to build a cannon in his main. Was it worth it? Eh. I don't know. I honestly don't know if that was exactly worth it. He lost, he lost some resources there. I think economically this does put him ahead. Take a, yep, look at that right there. Plain and simple for all to see. Although there has been a unit lost as well. Never mind. Well, no, I, I'm being stupid right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, because this cannon being built isn't considered a resource lost, even though it really is. Like, we know it is. So this is 150 resources lost as opposed to Exlord just losing that 75. Plus, 
In addition to that, we've got Showtime also losing 100 resources from losing a unit as well. So there you go, a little bit of an explanation there behind all that. Let's get back to what the heck is going on. Metabolic Boost is coming on out. We've got a Hatchery over here for the third of X-Lord. He also has his layer very quickly going into that layer tech. Here comes an Evolution Chamber back there as well. Back over here for Showtime, we will be seeing a Stargate opening from him. Warp Gate Research is coming on through. That's about halfway finished right now. He's got two simulators in the main, none in the natural at the moment. Might want to consider scooping one more of those up at the least, given that he is going to be going for some air tech here in the Stargate. Uh, having that extra Vespine is certainly going to be a good idea. Map control right now going to X-Lord. We do have some Sacrificial Overlords getting in position. Uh, prepare to push on into the main to get some intel as to what's going on. This one actually is just chilling out and looking for that third expansion. We can see that hasn't taken place yet. Also still have these rocks over here. Has he broken down? Okay, breaking down these rocks right now. Xlord, of course, wants to be able to easily get to that expansion to reinforce it, reinforce it when and if it does get hit. And now with this really fast layer here from Xlord, uh, coming out with that spire as well. We'll be going Roach Mute, I believe. Will be the composition of choice here for Xlord, throwing in some speedlings as well. Droning up quite heavily right now, wants to get that third nice and saturated. And oh wow, look at that. Xlord's also going to be breaking down some rocks over here. Looks like his planned third could be in this position. Just get, giving himself some access to that right now. Now I'm interested to see if with this tower you can see those rocks. Yes, you can. You can see over here, he can see those rocks. Now what, why I'm looking at this is because when Showtime pushes across and he has this tower, he will be able to see that these rocks are not here. So he doesn't even need to walk all the way up to that. He just needs to grab control of the tower, even if it's briefly. First Void Ray, making its way across the map right now. We also have the armor level 1 upgrades coming on through for Showtime. Showtime preparing to push into his third, which will be scouted out by X-Lord with his Overlord there. Uh, Zelnaga control, again, going to X-Lord. That allows him to see that Showtime is moving across the map here with his Void Ray. However, Spire just now popping, and here come the Mutas. Dun, da, 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 five mutas in production right now, and that is going to quickly dispatch of this one and two void rays. Showtime really doesn't stand a chance against that. Unfortunately, this void ray push not working out for him because we did see X Lord go for such a fast spire. You might say, oh, you can one base spire faster than that. I'm talking about the fact that he went for an expansion, a natural, and a third base. And then went his layer as quick as he did to get a spire. That's that's not exactly standard seeing that layer as early as we did. And seeing mutas this early in the game with a quick third that we saw from X Lord. Gotta, gotta consider all the factors, of course. A little bit of aggression coming out from X Lord. Uh, not much that he's gonna be able to do with this, though. Showtime is obviously amply prepared for that type of aggression. It's the muta harass that he really has to worry about right now. As the mutas will be taking out these void rays. Only one kill apiece. Uh, it's very unfortunate here for Showtime. Definitely not paying for these muta definitely not paying for these void rays as the mutas take out them and each of the void rays got one kill apiece. I think those were both just like Zerglings, maybe a Zergling and a drone. Yeah, most certainly not worth it. So here comes the Muta Harass at the same time attempting a little bit of aggression over here in this position. Muta Harass will be moving up into the main. Yep, one stalker's not gonna do it. Sorry. Need to break us here, buddy. He's going to need to pull down with the rest of his forces here. Muta's doing what they can for damage. Pulling down to try to engage that cannon. Are going to force a cancel? Yes, they do. Force a cancel. Take out one stalker without blink. This is a big problem for Showtime. Showtime now getting that blink research out. It's about three-fourths of the way finished. We also have an Overseer over here. Didn't end up spawning that. A little bit of an engagement over here as well. Not going so well for X-Lord, but he still has this Muta Harass. He's trying to be effective with. Eight worker kills so far. Resources lost. Showtime is behind at the moment. Forcing guys off the line, and this is very detrimental to Showtime all this time right now. They're not mining as they segue their way right on over here. Fairly effective attack there from X-Lord. Showtime had a hard time defending against that without that blink research. Now, however, he will be prepared the next time that comes on through. With that said, though, we are seeing a little bit of a transition here. I don't think X-Lord plans to continue up with these Mutalists. He's got 12 in play. He might. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> he might make a heavy transition as well uh, because we do have that infestation pick coming out Melee attack level one carpus level one just about finished flyer attack level one also now finishing He's gonna be able to snipe out these units quite a bit quicker Lake stalkers Xlor now knows that they're in play Not enough though as he turns to engage him guardian shield going down. He just avoids it attacks units outside of it He's doing a lot of damage here 
Yeah, Showtime is uh, pretty significantly behind right now. And again, we have to keep in mind 15 workers killed as well. Showtime needs to start returning some fire at some point. We are seeing no counter aggression as, as of now it appears that he is just planning to sit on his three bases and max up a huge army. Could very well be waiting until he gets to 200 supply and then deciding to push out at that point and just trying to basically run over X-Lord. So the name of the game for him now is let me defend myself and chill out for the moment and I'll push out when I'm ready. Now he could still use Muta and he could still use Blink Stalker Harass. Well, they, I was wrong about that Muta guesstimation there. We are going to see continuous production of Mutalus here. As he now has 20 in play. Blink Stalker's pulling down, thinning up those Muta numbers. Now we get some reinforcements coming though. 18 Mutas in play, working his way up to what is dubbed a Death Cloud. And essentially, you know, you can get the point with Mutas where you almost reach a critical mass. It's very easy to just walk into a base and start sniping things instantly. You draw pylons quickly. He takes out the sentry first, and then he just goes straight for the stalkers. This is unfortunate for Showtime. He could use some Psy Storm. That's right. He's researching Psyonix Storm right now as he realizes, I guess, Blink Stalkers aren't going to be enough because x -Lord continues to produce these mutas. More Blink Stalkers come down. Time for x -Lord to leave. Showtime does defend himself, but again, he is far, far behind. No question about that. Some proxy pylons getting placed over here on the upper right-hand portion of the map. This will allow for a little bit of harass from Showtime. Psionic Storm research continuing its way on through. Almost finished now. Getting a bunch of Photon Cannons here. Stationary Defense. Showtime really having a hard time defending against this Mutas. Back over here. What's been going on for uh, X-Lord? He is 1-1. One, one. Pathogen Glance just finishing there for those Infestors. Carpus level 2. Melee Attack level 2. Another Spire coming on through. So he is going to be using one of the Spires to turn into a Greater Spire once this Hive finishes. And then the other spires to continue up air upgrades. So yes, he indeed continues, plans to continue with this air air production here. Showtime. Another proxy pylon right here. This would allow him to harass. We got a couple spines getting placed down. That's gonna help a lot against any possible zealot harass we may be seeing in that position. We also have a fifth base coming out over here for X Lord. X Lord, of course, looking very strong. Showtime doing kind of what I thought he was. Sitting on three bases, trying to mass up a force, and then going for that big, big push when the time comes. Look at this, X-Lord all over the place. Sending out links to scout out possible expansions. This is a very easy and great tactic for you guys to use. If you don't do this at home, I suggest you do it. Zerg players, send out links to possible expansions of your opponent. It's so easy, it's so cheap, and it's so effective. Mutas being not effective, Link Stalker right up under them, and that is the death of all those Mutas. Here comes the push from Showtime. He's making a way across the map using these proxy pylons to start warping in units. Zerglin's trying to do some damage. They're going to be outnumbered here, though. Get pinned in the corner. And, uh, yeah, just trying to take out what they can, realizing they're dead. Let's grab this last stalker. Oh, we don't get it. Sad, sad Zerglings. Push finally coming here from Showtime. As he's making way across the map, we got a bunch of speedlings getting dropped down over here. Greatest Fire almost finished. Corruptor's coming out so that we will be seeing some Brewlords as well. Blink Stalker's trying to pull back to the safety of the rest of the army. And the Zerglings just pass them and get me going for a counterattack. So right as Showtime decides it's time to push out, we see X-Lord utilizing the mobility there of those Speedlings and trying to counterattack. But uh-oh, here we go. Showtime now hitting on the fourth expansion. Speedlings trying to make their way into the third over here. So we're going to be seeing a, kind of a base trade. A bunch of spines getting dropped to try to add to a little bit of st uh, stack defense over here and defend X-Lord as long as he possibly can take it and allow this counterattack to do some damage. Look at that storm. Oh, man. Storm. Ruining the day for Zerglings. Zerglings finally make it up into the third, though. Going to allow them to do some damage. This expansion is a goner. Spines continuing to do some damage. Now, again, you have to keep in mind we've got Broodlords coming into play. That is going to help tremendously here as Exor tries to defend himself. Speedlings walking into Storm again. Going to be taking out this cannon. We still have that High Templar. He can even Storm another time. Doesn't have to, though, as these Lings have gotten mopped up. The push from Showtime continuing to make it up into Exor's expansions. Blink Stalkers getting a right up under the Broodlords. That's a huge problem as they can target fire them down so quickly. And another Blink and X-Lord. It's been ahead for the majority of this game. And all of a sudden, he's in a very tough situation. It looks like he might lose it here. No more counter aggression coming from him. Blink Stalkers sniping out all of those Broodlords. We've got, that's it. <laughs> X-Lord calls the GG. How unfortunate for him.
X-Lord playing very strongly all game ends up getting rolled by a massive attack off of three bases from Showtime. Major problem of course is he had very little defense at home for his Broodlords and Blink Stalkers were able to quite easily take them out without them doing much damage at all. And even with his counterattack, it was not enough to keep him in the game and X-Lord called the GG. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This was the game here between X-Lord and Showtime. Stay tuned for some more SC2 commentary coming in the future. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.